Hello and welcome back to Age of Wonders 4. We're checking out more Primal Fury stuff today and we're also celebrating the release of the new Dune movie just for fun because we know it's going to be happening tomorrow. Choose so we felt ourselves a custom realm, the realm of Arrakis, a barren ocean realm, a desert realm with megafauna hoping for giant worms. It's got a low population. It's hard to heal. Infestations constantly regenerate because you can't really ever get rid of the bad things on, on Arrakis. And the locals are going to be pretty distressing. We are going to play it on very large with nine players and brutal difficulty. Along with randomly generated heroes, rulers. Your journey starts here. We're going to create a new faction what is your people's form? in honor of the great dune worms we're gonna play as lizard folk and we're gonna try to make little baby little baby dune worms uh we don't have to take desert adaptation because we're gonna be playing as primal checking out the new primal fury stuff so i'm not gonna take any of that so we have a lot of points that we get to decide what else we want to do eagle mounts oh wow I didn't know Eagle Mounts was an option. I really want to try out like the Elephant Mounts and stuff now too. There's so many cool things. Let's think. Uh, we're living on a terrible, terrible hell planet. What do we need to have? Damage penalty from casualties are halved. This would actually be really good because we don't heal a lot on the map. Melee and physical is also not a bad option. If we put a little strong in there. Herbivores can consume flora. That's a cool trade. I kind of want to say cold-blooded. Plus one vision and sensing. Plus eight hit points. Hardy, tenacious, strong crocodiles. Pick something with less eye smoke. Dragon, Baron, Harkonnen. Ooh, I like these. We're gonna have to get some good some good dune names. Wouldn't have been so bad if they shown it anyway. It was powerful. Disney ended the great characters, killed, loved, and replaced them with unkillable ones. I mean, Star Wars has always been a mess. I love Star Wars, but all of the movies are a mess. Let's think about this a little while we build the rest of our character. Origin culture? We're going to go primal. We're going to go Dune Serpent, since we're celebrating Dune. We're going to start in the desert. We can build farms on sand terrain. Sand is actually a favored terrain. Their primal animal gains frenzy. Oh, I didn't realize that. That's very cool. Extra income is earned, plus two gold from anything in sand. The spirit temple structure can also alter things to sand. We have access to the primal serpent, the dune worm summon. We walk through sand a little bit easier, not really much though. And um, we do extra physical damage and blind because of the fury of the dune serpent. What defines their society? Because we're Arrakis, we're going to be great builders, trying to build great cities on the planet, also getting extra gold. If we're in the desert, it's like there's a lot of quarry space and quarries give extra gold, which is a really nice combo. We're also, I think, going to take Druidic Terraformers because I like the idea of having a bunch of elemental units. Uh, we'll get plus 10% mana for being in sand. And we should be able to kind of like terraform a little bit of the world. I guess everything is already sand. Do we need to be druidic terraformers? We could go for something like talented collectors. If we're a dune worm, are we really looking to terraform the planet? Gain extra mana with hero items in the artifact horde. That's not terrible for us if we're going to be a dragon. 
This would lean really heavy on Materium. It's the only problem. We get more mana for it being sand. That's true. And mana is good. That's literally what Dune Worms do. Terraform or Horde Artifacts? Is this game better than Age of Wonders 3? Uh, yeah, I would say so. I think so. Having not really played much Age of Wonders 3. But generally, yeah. Let's let's stick on Juridic Terraformers right now, but I'm willing to listen to arguments. Some people think 3 was better. Uh, we are going to take... We're going to take the Tome of Alchemy, I think, second because it's our perfect combination. But we're going to start with the Tome of Enchantment so we can get Copper Golems, because I'd like to get Golems up really nice and early. The idea being, I'd like an army of Golems probably backed up with Elementals. What is your ruler's origin? Age of Wonders 4 has too much taken from Planetfall and misses a lot of the good stuff, which was invented in 3. Interesting, okay. Uh, and we are going to be a Dragon Lord. So the more items we have, the more money we make. And also because I haven't really played with the big dragons very much. We're going to be a Materium Dragon. Because, of course, we're trying to be a Dune Worm. These colors feel wildly off right now. That's green. I see. We have some extended color mods on. So some of these don't look as good as the others. I can't really get a good gold dragon. I'm sure as we get abilities throughout the game, it'll change up a little bit, but skin decoration makes up a lot of the color. Oh, I see. I see. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Okay. I've not played a lot with the dragons. Ooh, we got fun options. I think this orange is probably our base. It's like orange and red is okay. <laughs> we obviously want to be the fattest dragon possible. There's no question about that. There's something about this design I really like. It looks very dragony. But I do like the two tone of this one. So I think we'll go with that. Our ornamentation. Ooh, these are our frills. Put a couple little scaly bits. Uh, let's go with these big spikes. Seeing as we're a Materium Dragon. Each decoration also changes with color. My god. Little jumping up and down, crying with the Luke reveal on Mando. So, of course, no more Luke. I mean, I, I, I think the big thing with Star Wars right now is they just need to be, like, writing new stuff. Like, Andor was really good. Because it was also, like, had nothing to do with Star Wars, almost. Like, right up until the end, you could be like, oh, Andor is set in any sci-fi universe. We have wrinkly scales, regular scales, and big honker scales. We'll go big honker. We are a dune worm, so we have to have a long neck. And maybe tiny little baby wings. and tiny little legs. 
but a big long body and a big long tail. This is a very funny dragon. <laughs> I like this one that's lying down. I think that's that's the vibe we're going for here. Uh, lots of good horn options. I saw a couple in here that like looked crystally. Honestly, that's that was the one that we had. I think I'm just gonna keep that one. There's some real avian looking faces in here. Classic Chinese dragon. I think uh probably this guy. Again, I'm mostly just looking for like little spiky bits that are coming off of them. I think that's the most important vibe. And a big, long, pointy head. Big head. Big head, big dragon. Purple, reds, greens. No, let's go. It's got to have yellow eyes. It's got to be the color of spice. His personality will be... Solitary isolationist, perhaps? Who believes in a strong defensive source? A competitive merchant? Willing to trade for the right price? Or an expressive creator who values both matters and minds? Likes empires with a strong economy. Likes empires that trade. I think a competitive merchant is probably what this guy is. single race without relationships dislikes empires with large domains and then start wars oh you know what he's a dune worm he's he's a solitary isolationist then it's got to make sense blue eyes like the freeman oh that's right the freeman have blue eyes don't they we'll give them blue eyes without pupils smog has yellow eyes yeah Maybe I should buy the game. I mean, I think it's very good. I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed my time in this game so far. I ain't never had no problem. Big fan of it. Uh, let's see. We are going Materium Affinity. This is literally a snake. I think that's probably it right there. Uh, we have to come up with some crocodile people. Who will be little baby dune worms. They will be fat with short arms and long legs to make them more snake like. I feel like there's some decorations here that might work. Ooh, I kind of like the spotted, <laughs> the, the leopard stripes on them. Something about it looks nice. We could also just like give them scars. You know what? Let's just give them some scars. Their army color never really changes that much. I kind of like that. It's a little bit white. It changes like different parts of their coloring. They have all this bone on them that I'm like thinking about. How do we play around with that a little bit? Uh, and they... How do we make them look like snakes? That's pretty snake-like. They look like cobras, but... I think we're going cobra. Cobra. 
two different sets of skin decoration here. Uh, I know what this is. Uh, there's a mod I have on right now that's skin decoration mods. And they added it into the base game. Which I actually forgot all about. Are we riding crocodiles into combat? I think we... <laughs> do we have to? <laughs> I think we have to do it. I have to. You not recommend buying Age of Wonders 4 unless you want to give up your entire month for <laughs> your entire life for at least a month. You lost 1600 hours. Whoa. That's crazy. That's a lot of hours. It's entertaining watching Disney fail more than anything they produce. 100th anniversary thing totally bombed. Complete lack of quality. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Disney's a bit all over the place right now. I'm glad that they bought a bunch of stuff because they're like making more content in those things. Like we're getting more Star Wars content than we've ever had in like so many years. It's just that now it's like Warhammer, you know, like there's a lot of Warhammer content out there because they give their IP to basically everybody. But 95% of it is a dumpster fire. <laughs> But that 5% rocks, and I'm really glad to get it. Most of the new Star Wars stuff has been really bad. But then we have things like Andor, which was really good. I like Bad Batch, even though it's like, it, it, it's pretty like uh, Disney-fied at times. And I still watch The Mandalorian, even though it's like, got some problems. <laughs> How do we feel about these guys? I think they look pretty good. Are we happy what is your people's form? with our traits? Strong, hardy, tenacious. I don't think strong is correct. Tenacious, sure. Hardy. Okay. But I think we need to look at something like Arcane Focus. Or... Like Resistant Quick Reflexes, maybe. I'm literally thinking like the only crocodile people are probably going to be casters because we're going to have elementals and we're going to have golems and they're going to be like most of the regular damage. So these guys should probably be arcane focus and resistant. And I'm fine to give them hardy. Gives them a little bit of extra chonk. What is their origin culture? Primal Dune Serpents. What defines Druidic Terraformers and Great Builders. Choose your first the Tome of Enchantment. Gorgon Lord. Reveal yourself. Big Papa Dune Worm. These guys changed their heads. But otherwise they're correct in almost every way. They lost their skin, their army decoration as well. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I'll put anything on them. Your All right. Begins. We need names. We need a first name, a race name, a throne city name, and a title. Stone Drake. I mean, I feel like this is going to be like Dune Worm. Dune Worm? Mm? Mm? I think that's correct. I'll keep that one. <laughs> Do the Dorgas have genders? I don't think they do. No. Uh, we played a lady on the last map. We'll play a we'll play a guy on this one. Dune Lord Shaitan, Draconian as the race name. The Scaly Wild Spirits, Druidic Skinks. 
Scale Shaper. Ooh. Steel Fang. Rock Fang. Hypertit Diabos. <laughs> Crocodiles are cold blooded and tough. Yeah, we changed we changed their uh, their base traits. Should we name him Bob Agor? <laughs> Who's the main guy in um Is it Timothy Chalamane? <laughs> yeah, like I'm gonna try to spell Chalamane. Oh no, wait. What is um the main character in Dune has like the dumbest first name ever. Isn't his name just like Jack or Fred? It's like the most uninteresting. <laughs> it's like the the worst possible name for a main character. Paul, Paul Atreides. That's right. <laughs> Should we just name our dragon Paul? <laughs> it's like the most fitting thing for the Dune universe to be like, I am a mighty dragon, destroyer of all. My name is Paul. Race name. And we need a throne city name. We could just call this like the Spice Factory. <laughs> Maybe? The Spice Nest. Atreides is cool. Paul is generic. Yeah, Atreides is a great last name, but Paul is like the worst possible first name for a sci-fi fantasy hero. Sand Eels. Oh, I kind of like that. And no last name. <laughs> Dune Worm Paul. Dragon and creator. His draconic powers will shape the future of the Sand Eels of the Spice Factory. Paul the Sand Lizard. <laughs> Slender, scaled creatures who use their tongues to get a sense of their surroundings. Vigorous and strong, true beacons of health. They have natural armor against magical damage. They prefer to fight using magic, worship powerful animal spirits, and aim to shape the realms in their honor. Caretakers of the natural order, maintaining a carefully tended biome. They honor their builders and artisans, taking pride in grand constructions. Paul the Mighty Dragon sounds nice. Sorry to any Pauls who might be watching this. I'm sure Asian thinks you have a silly name, but you have to admit Paul is a silly name when his father is called Leto. Yeah, it's 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 not that Paul is a bad name, but it is a bad name for the primary protagonist of a fantasy series. <laughs> I like this. Let's move onwards. Thank you, Pauls. Thank you for your service. Pauls represent... I really like the look of this dragon. This looks like a fun campaign. Oh yeah, we gotta update the... Um... Stream title. Ba -ba 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 -ba. A new ruler emerges, Paul. <laughs> Robert, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the agency. Have we still not started? We've just started, Noroth. You're just in time. Explore your surroundings, expand your domain. Your choices will shape the new age of wonder. And Robert, thank you for the tier one sub, dude. Welcome on in. All right, we're lizard folk. We're hardy. We're resilient. We are good at magic. We believe in the great dune serpent. We are druidic terraformers and great builders. We start summoning a copper golems and healing our natural characters. We are in the left edge of the map. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And we have a Dune Serpent Den here as well. Uh, we start with a bonus elemental. We got a Lesser Tide Spirit. Primal Darters and Protectors. Uh, I mean, I can summon copper, summon copper golems in like a couple of turns, so we'll probably get on them right away. Do, 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 do. Sunder defense. Ten percent damage against magic origin units. Oh, they kind of changed this. I feel like sixty percent chance of removing one positive status effect from the target. Interesting. This used to just do physical damage, I'm pretty sure.
ranged and skirmishers. I'm going to get that for now. We have a production stash. We've got a couple of guys over here. I love that our scouts are on crocodiles. It's so nonsense. We have a brigand camp directly to our south. We can fight those guys next turn. Forests, forests. All right, not everything is sand. So that's good to know. We can sand out the world. Build two farms, build one forester. What do we want to go for first? Let's go with the stone steel and a scout. Use exactly our 100 bucks. And we'll cruise. The spice factory, the spice girls of the spice factory. Hope they add some frog species. There are frog species. You can play as frog people. I've done a frog people. Our pacifist campaign, uh, where we didn't attack anybody, we played as frog people. They're very fun. You've led your sand eels, followers of the Dune Serpent, to a new realm where something catches your eyes. Not far from the Spice Factory, a wondrous tree pulsates with invigorating energy. Its strangely familiar energy inspires you from afar. A faint hiss on the wind calls to you, your eyes fixed on the trees. Could it be the ancestral spirit of the sand eels, the Dune Serpent herself? Earth Coil is the name of the Dune Serpent. Truly graces this realm. Here, I will meet with her right away. Well, right away, I'm going to get into some combat first. Clear out some trash. <laughs> Had a bit of a crush on Posh Spice and Victoria back then as well. I think, listen, we it's, it's okay. Any of us who grew up as millennials all had a crush on the Spice Girls. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> what does our Materium guy do? Lesser Dragon Breath, which inflicts bleeding damage. Uh, well, low foliage. I guess let's put you there. Do, 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 do. Put you there. I'll put you here. Here, and I'll hide you across over this way. What do you got for me, Johnny? Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Rune of Retaliation. What did Rune of Retaliation just then? I'm very curious. All right, well, if I move in a little bit, I can hit the two of them. Which seems reasonable. Oh, I also blew up that cover. Ow. I was rude. I would have attacked the archer if I had realized that. Uh, yeah, let's... Oh, these guys have a rune of retaliation. I see. So they get a second attack. We're going to hit them a bunch because then I can just cast Ancestral Harmony. I don't want to use up too much mana early on in this. Um, just particularly because I need that mana to summon golems into my army. Are you going to get, like, absolutely trashed right now, Big Dragon? Oh, no! Grizzly Beard! Ooh, wow. That was a lot. All 
All right, these guys have unlocked Fury of the Dune Serpent, which does allow them to heal. And it's probably what they're going to have to do. You kill these chargers. Because somebody's got to kill those chargers. You kill those guys. Oh my god. That's so much retaliation damage. I think I have to do this. I could just cast Ancestral Harmony, actually. That's a better idea. And then they can tank the retaliation. And we can do a disengaging shot. We should parkour us over this. Oh, oh okay, we're not. Uh, this guy is blind. From the disengaging shot? Oh, that's so cool. So when we played as the Ash guys, this lit them on fire. This time it blinds them. Uh, my archers are dead. Yeah. Okay, they have lived though. Archers dying, not a big deal. It's, it's a little bit of a pain, uh, but it's not like a huge issue. We pick up an orb of seeing. Oh my God, that's really good for us right away. We have dragon claws uh, and we get to learn some dragon stuff. Yeah, the frogs rule, man. The frogs, the frogs are great. If you want frogs, you're, you're in luck. They can even get the frogs. The frogs have different hat options. And one of the frogs hats are just like a bunch of different lily pads on their heads. They're super cute. True sight with extra vision and sensing. I mean, God, with, a, with an orb of seeing. That would give us plus five vision range. We could scout a lot with that. Primal Serpent Communion would be also very good for him. Required for heightened senses too. All round awareness, immune to flanking. Dude, so I think I'm gonna get him that. <laughs> we immediately see everything around us. Elder Leuna Briar of the Free City of Old Hollow acknowledges you, well met. So obviously you and I both follow Earth Coil, the Dune Serpent. Kin is what I should call you. Let us not wage war, but speak of peace. Pop our Whispering Stone in here right away. Okay, so there are two are left. Interesting. They have Archon Blood, which is not bad. Combat casting points. So if I was to cut down here, we could probably lock them in a little bit. We have some underground near us. Look how much vision we have. It's crazy. Who even needs scouts? This brigand camp to the south is not particularly strong, so taking it on early would be extremely valuable for us. If I cancel that, no, we should keep it. We should keep it. Baby steps. Uh, True Sight allows you to see invisible units. I'll give you the exact definition of it. Unit can see invisible or camouflaged units within its vision range. Uh, so sometimes you will see like a faction has like three units here and then you will go close and they'll actually have like three more units that are hidden. This is very common at sea. 
any of the uh the sea battles not gonna be able to take this playthrough seriously a dragon called paul just hammers home how silly the name is you need to change your name if you ever become a dragon or a savior of a group of people stranded on a desert planet i mean that seems fair do we have to attack this guy no we don't attack him we just talk to him when you arrive at the dune serpent den you hear the visage of the dune serpent that lured you there has disappeared yet you hear hissing near your feet something seems to move through the earth you examine the enthralling enthralling a tree and notice the sand slowly heaping at the bottom of its trunk earth coils influence is palpable you recall ancient legends that promise formidable boons to the most ardent torch bearers of earth coil claim this territory so you can build the dune serpent temple which invokes the power of the dune serpent to slowly turn everything into desert where sand eels thrive build the dune serpent's temple etc etc for earth coils glory i will secure her dens and build her temples um what are our early bonuses outposts cost less gold and take less turns to build and start with work camps built that's really good city structures cost less to build what other things do we have we should also get bonuses for founding populations i'll still hit 100 next turn Gold vein, iron deposit, dune serpent den, plus 15 happiness, iron deposits. I mean, a forester's not a bad starting choice. Tranquility pool. Researching spells costs less knowledge. That's a really nice building. I I'm trying to see like where the choke points are. So where we want to go first to set up an outpost. I think probably one down here would be very wise. We also need to heal. <gasps> what are you? An elephant. Bandit's Way adds Brewer Ogres and Butcher Ogres. All right, this is a really good spot to set up, I think. Oh, unless this is uninhabitable. Sandstorms, which it is. So here would be better. Okay. Starting hard training this summer. I'm going on a backpacking trip. Start in Portugal and you'll go west. You're starting in Portugal and you're going west? That's not a backpacking trip. That's a swimming expedition. Aren't you going like straight to the Azores and trying to make your way back to North America? <laughs> There's not a lot of walking if you go west of Portugal. <laughs> Paul the second, Paul the destroyer. Let's go over these mountains. Hail, Dune Worm Paul. Allow me to introduce myself. I am First Protector Nason Tall Shield. This is a very good name for him with this big shield on his back. Many go dear make war. I aim to make peace. This guy is light and materium. An authoritarian diplomat. Single race, strong military. Dislikes alliances and good relations with free cities. Chosen orcs. Underground, industrious chosen uniters imperialists I think we could get along where did we find him down here so that's good grassland grassland that's desert oasis uh, so putting in a base somewhere around here would be really nice. Here or here. I think an outpost probably right there is what I want. Which we're going to unlock like right away. Mm, I'd rather you explore at the moment.
God, the vision is so bad for most of our guys. We'll build a storehouse so we can get some growth going. And then we'll keep rolling. An orc was about being friendly. Good on you, Nason. Go and counter to the stereotype. He's a good boy. If I get this watchtower, will it even give me anything? I believe this symbol means there is a dune serpent in there. I'm fairly certain that's what that means. He obviously lives directly underneath this. So I could lock him underground if I took this province. But I want this province so that I'm closer to Bandit's Way. So we're just going to get that started. Immediately. This is also, I think, one. So we'll make our way up to that. There's a lot of green on this desert, I will say. Uh, I got 60 points, which is enough for a copper golem. And we need to make a library. Not a bad idea. Dune Serpent Temple actually is probably the strongest choice right now because a lot of this is not sand. So if we went like here, 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 and here, maybe. For early outposts. Yeah, that literally doesn't give me any extra vision. Uh, all right, I got to know. It is a Dune Serpent Den. I am correct in saying that. That's fine. You know what? I'll just build another one down here. We got purging arrows. Conjure primal serpent. Last for two turns. Yeah, I mean, that, that seems reasonable. A scorched fur forge for fire giants. And this is another Dune Serpent then. Uh, so let's try to get to this tower so we can see around here. This is a really good spot to set up a second city. Really, really good. Spice Factory is ready to keep annexing. We have all sorts of stuff around. Why don't we go for... Well, actually, what do we need to build? A granary would be another forester. The Mason's holding these farms. The vendor needs farms. We get money from sand provinces, though. I actually think I'm just going to build a second forester right now. And then we can queue up that granary next. I'm going to try to put an outpost down here and then just sail north. And um, we'll probably look at taking out that brigand camp next. Uh, we'll go palisade walls here. And I think we'll probably grab the watchtower to start. That way nobody else can take it from us, so. 
Go far enough east, eventually you'll end up west of Portugal, but it's going to be a long walk. This is true. Not played this game since launch. How is it feeling these days? Are the expansions well received? Yeah, the expansions have been like pretty good so far. Um, they're, they're, they all add in like little things. But I think as a more like cohesive whole, it's like a big update. Like when Empire and Ashes and when Dragon's Dawn came out, I came back to them for like a very brief period, but didn't get too much into it. Now that this one is out, this is a huge update. Primal Fury is like definitely the biggest update of the three. But with like three DLCs now out that are all like relatively cheap to buy. Um, like I got them as part of like the, the full expansion pack thing. Uh, and it feels like they've added a lot and they've gone back and they fixed a lot of the previous problems, especially in regards to like AI and diplomacy. Now, all right, so this is all desolate desert. That's a Shrieker's Tomb. Pastures. Uh, 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 I think I'm going to set up an outpost right here. 10 gold upkeep. I'm going to kill my gold very fast with this. But I think that's okay. Claw Mark Cave. Yeah, these are some really great, great locations for us early on. Ba, 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 ba. I'm going to try to get a second copper golem in here. Uh, we have our Dune Serpent Temple. They're making another Primal Darter. That'll be a good army. So I'm going to build... Ooh, Haste Berries. Founding, migrating, and absorbing cities takes minus two turns. All right, so I'm largely worried about things like this brigand camp. Because they will respawn. Uh, okay, we're ready for a little bit of spice. Why don't we build a farm here? Oh, I have to summon this in my domain. Interesting. I didn't realize that. I thought you could just summon those anywhere. And we'll start saving up for purging arrows next. Uh, you guys are going to grab that food. And then... I... I think I'm going to make my way towards that other tower. A friendship is declared with us. Friendships cost 10 gold to turn. I can't afford a friendship with you right now. <laughs> I like, he's underground. I'm happy to have him underground and be my buddy. Especially because I'm definitely locking him in. Let's take fruitful integration and then we're going to save up. And we'll start building these outposts. Uh, you're going to take... That ashy boy. This is probably the more important outpost to get. Yeah, these brigands are growing a lot, very rapidly, but they've got a couple hero characters in here, which is great because heroes have items. 
And we like eating items. All right, I'm going to scout back down this way towards that tower. Try to get ideas of, like, what is around us more than anything else. Uh, you're done your granary. We could go straight for animists. That being said, there's other things I would like in here, too. I'm going to buy a vendor. I'm going to buy palisade walls. And I'm going to annex more stuff. Ah, these guys are setting out an invasion force. That's what's happening here. Tempted to grab the expansion pack and come back. I'll have to see how it runs on Steam Deck. Good, but probably hot, if I was to guess. I mean, it, it runs really hot on computer. Um, So I wouldn't say it has more than like three hours of life, probably on Steam Deck. I, I'm guessing, I'm guessing here. Um, You could also play on like smaller maps and it would be much more reasonable. Uh, sick. These guys are coming at me with a bunch of tier three units. I guess I should have attacked them right away instead of sitting around because now I can't win this fight. Wow. There's no way I can win this fight. I have no magic. This might be a bit of a wash. Friendship is expensive. Primal Furry was like 14 bucks, 10, 12 USD, right? Yeah, that's the thing is like, when I think about how much they've added in for the prices of these DLCs, it's very reasonable. So, uh, and Pyro Mini, Pyro Mini Yax, thank you for the follow and welcome to the agency. Great to hear, yeah. All right, this elephant is a charger, that knight is a charger, that unicorn is a charger. This is literally the only possibility. And it is a terrible, terrible possibility. That unicorn is going to teleport behind and kill this guy in one shot. I'm actually going to shield wall. Displace and replace. Oh, good. You've got displace and replace. And you have stun. I don't know what's worse. It's going to be a nightmare. Watch this. We're going to get just buckled right now. Poisoned. Teleport flank. Okay. Stunned. Flanked. Giant Slayer. So much damage. You're stunned. Oh, 
Oh, you're in range of that. Whoops. Oh my God, it turned so I don't get the flank anymore. God damn. I actually have a shield wall. Flank, flank, flanked. Paul is dead. No retaliation. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go back and save. Let's just go back to Renee. <laughs> I didn't think uh, that that bronze spawner was going to be spawning out uh, multiple tier three units that rapidly that was a bit of an unexpected play from the computer six hundred man on the first turn yeah it was like two hundred and ninety four in the base oof all right, uh, well, we have another darter coming in there. That might help. Uh, once we have some spells, like being able to summon the Primal Serpent is obviously going to make a huge difference in that fight. Sorry, I said I was going this way, and I then decided not to go that way. Take that for that plus one population. You guys have a granary. Uh, we said we were going to go for the vendor there for the cash. Palisade walls. Uh, you were going to build a quarry. All right. Another monster den just spawned there. Just gross. <sighs> Who is the unit I don't want in here? Probably the protectors. I mean, they can hang out, at least back us up. We can summon primal serpents now. I guess we'll get Enchanted Crow Companions. I don't really love any of these. We could shuffle. You know what? Let's shuffle. Sundering Blades works for everybody. Reduces defense, which is like what we do. Yeah, let's get Sundering Blades. I want the bonus to the city as well, but baby steps. There's another small monster den just spawned over here. We can pick up a chest though, which is nice. I guess it's turn 10, so all these places just started spawning. Purging arrows, 10% damage against magic origin attacks. Celestial. Ah, this this elephant is magic. <laughs> I guess. See how that works. Mr. Frodo and Olifad. Killing any more good aligned dragons? I don't think we've killed any good aligned dragons yet. So we're like almost 500 point army here perhaps a little bit extra with that these guys are growing out fast let's get a mine there I don't want to lose this uh, iron deposit to them mm -mm 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 -mm. 
research would be really nice. We can also get access to new heroes. So we have Milliber Briar, Intimidating. Brass Briar, a spell thief. Gain combat casting points when a hostile combat spell is cast. That's actually a very cool ability. She's also 4 2. Torgan the Guard, a resilient duelist. Cedric the Boulder, an inspiring warden. And Nebri the Beacon, seductive. Chance to dominate. Oh, that's fun. If they're dominated at the end of combat, you get to keep them. Staff of the Dune Serpent summons Primal Serpent. With Restore. Uh, I did say we're better casters. Spell Thief is also a decent option here. This is a crocodile with a fire orb. Slightly higher level, obviously, but costs more money. Why do you have two nature affinity? Oh, my jaw. Two extra nature affinity, I mean. Kill that gold wyvern. Metallics are good. Oh, last time. Yeah, yeah. Dal can be a little go aloof. Blue is a much better color than those metal colors. I do love a blue dragon. He's got scouts coming out here. Okay. Message received. I've been pondering the many allies and enemies I have in this realm. I'm glad that you seem to be one of the former. Let's try to bring our empires closer together. He's ready to discuss a treaty or diplomatic state. Should we do a wizard's bond with him? He should just live underground in this garbage, garbage city. Robe of resistance. Plus one resistance, plus two status. Uh, we can also pick up that. Very nice. a reaper's hollow over here so these guys cost eight gold to upkeep yeah let's just quick save this we got to win this combat is the thing. Uh, I, I know now that they're also going to focus my dragon down very early. Seems to be part of their strat. Uh, if we put you there, only one thing can attack you. Uh, let's put you there, and you can defend either archers or the dragon. We can summon dune serpents now. We have an extra archer, and we can summon. So there's a couple good bonuses we have. I am going to get hit with all of these charges, which are dirty, though. This guy has Cavalry Slayer. I would like to make sure he is blind. Okay, I can't do my breath attack. Go. 
going to try to whittle down this unicorn, I think, first. Man, that retaliation is big. I want this little tide guy to go up, but he's going to get himself killed if he does that. So I'm going to limit his movement. I'm going to keep you back here right now because you're protecting the dragon. Uh, I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to shield wall with you. Let those guys take their cavalry slayer. Let you take your hits here. And wall with you. He goes for the copper golem. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Disengage. Oh, I didn't get hit with the retaliation. That's kind of nice. Uh, you can flank. Almost kill it. 65% chance. Grazed! Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I'm going to have to move you in. You've almost killed him. Uh, you can finish the elephant. I can't believe I can't reach that. I have no mana as well here either. Okay. Okay, interesting choice. They're gonna kill themselves here. No retaliation? Canceled retaliation. Removes retaliation attack. Wow. Okay. You're dead. You're dead. You're blinded. You are not dead. Unbelievable. You have 46 HP, you have 50 HP. Put him on them. Our summon dies. Ah, our elemental dies. That's so annoying. blind on these guys is what's gonna like I got I gotta start learning how to play around this blind a little bit better because it's a huge huge bonus to get I feel like I should be getting attacks of opportunity that I'm not Nine damage, 24 damage. That kills him. Breath weapon. I like it. All right. Minimal losses. I would have, oddly enough, much rather lost these guys than the golems and the tide spirit, but uh, you can't always get what you want. We 
we're gonna have some serious fights coming up now arc fire spear okay boarding robes horse mount sell those for cash cash for gold uh you're gonna move into here i think we stopped the pillage which is good all right all right Old Hollow contacts you. Mighty Dune Worm Paul, I beg you, save our people from an infestation of Gore Tusk piglets. The beasts will flood our land and we lack the military right to repel them. Please help us. Oh, a small monster den. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to blow that up anyway, so that's pretty favorable. I need more mana. Mines gain plus 10 mana? Oh, I did not realize that was the trait. So our quarries have plus 2 gold, but our mines will get plus 10 mana. That's crazy. That's a really good one. Uh, oh my god, there's another monster den here. They spawn so fast. This is insane. We're gonna found a city here. We might not be so different after all. Empires with a single race. Uh, I need a province claiming pact. I will need a province claiming pack because he has claim on all these provinces. Uh, 294. I need to heal a little bit more. Did I lose a golem as well? I did. It's going to be a couple of turns. They cost like 60 bucks. really try to use the scouts to uh, pick up as much like free stuff lying around as possible. It's going to make us a big difference in the end. Like that mana. And that mana. And mines and excavation. So I built a quarry here because the quarry, yeah, gives me plus four gold. Ah, plus two from great builders and plus two for favorite terrain as well. That's really nice. I didn't realize the quarries gave negative happiness. I feel like that's new. Hyper, hello. Exposed your lurker state. Welcome on in, dude. Welcome, welcome. You know you can always lurk. You can always be lurking. I'm going to wait one more turn here. We got to heal a little bit more, but I think I can rush this bandits camp without invoking that army. That den's got to go really soon. It's going to threaten both of these locations. Sundering Blade. Again, didn't really get the research I wanted here. We'll take crows. Clan Hurst is founded. Uh, I am taking names for new cities if you got a new city name hit me 
with your best shot. Mana nodes. Firms. Firms. I want to move towards this Shrieker's Tomb, so let's just set up a firm right here to start. Uh, the old Dune Serpent Temple would turn all of this to ash. So I think we're going to start with him. Four hundred versus three hundred. We should be able to bum rush these guys. Let's just figure out exactly what we need to do first. Uh, extra knowledge. This is one turn for a clan hall. Oh, because it's like half built already. Yeah, let's absolutely grab that. Grab this bad boy too. You know, for a land that's meant to be all deserts, there's an awful lot of not deserts around here. <gasps> Another Dune Serpent Den, just north of Old Hollow. Wow, these were like so rare last campaign, and now they're everywhere. Here with the summon can help. Will this bag of Viagra suddenly start working? <laughs> Access to the Kitty most again. All is right with the world. Do we have a Caladan yet? We do not. Caladan. Caladan. I need more Imperium. I can't reach this brigand camp in a single turn. This army is actually moving back right now. If both of them are together, I can't take them. Those guys are getting swarmed. Yeah, they build more units. Halt Dune Worms, so the rumors are true. You seek to invade our ancestral lands, the Elder Spits. We hooved druids of Little Spring do not bow before outlanders. You are at war with these dudes. Oh, okay. There's some underground glacial mammoth. Well, they're not going to last. Oh, allow me to introduce yourself. I am Lady Diviner Mariel Light Painter. Many go to make war. I aim to make peace. Another authoritarian diplomat. This is going to be a problem because these guys are not all going to get along. That one right there goes to Little Spring. Does it? No. Does it? Purple. I think that's him. Tadpole Lightbringers also underground. Yeah, so actually, I think that's the case. This is the only area we don't have a tree. I guess that's okay, though. If I could get an outpost up here and up here, we'd have a pretty big chunk of land. All right, the Spice Factory has built the Spirit Hall. Plus one gold per adjacent sand province. Rune Carver's Camp. Three mana per adjacent quarry. Also counts as a quarry. Uh, let's get the Wizard's Foundation so we can get some Imperium going. Dude spawned two armies. Two armies, and he doubled the size of the camp. Uh, they're going to attack me with one of those armies right now. And it's going to be disgusting. A quart 
Petrosk Piglet. Okay, this is Little Spring. But I'm, I'm assuming he is also down there. Uh, where are you looking? I think probably this way. Yeah, they are attacking me. Let's get Sundering Blades started. I have no mana, which means I can't summon Dune Serpents in fights, which means I probably actually want to head back into town. I like the green skin emotes. Your artists did good. Yeah, I've got three different artists right now for emotes, and I'm really happy with all of them. So many good choices. All right, this will be really helpful for us. They're not attacking me with both of these armies at the same time. They can't do that, can they? Wait a minute, that's illegal. I'm not sure who they need in there right now. Uh, I will just pick up this tower. Dudes, there are so many infestations. It's insane. Let's cancel this guy for a moment. And can I get a hero? Joker JP, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the agency. I could. I think I might get this sexy, sexy lizard. Sexy seductive lizard. The spell thief is interesting, but it's like only good if you're fighting other factions. And I mostly just need another governor. Kaladan. Ignore four status resistance. Yeah, sure. We'll take that. Uh, currently, you have a staff of the Dune Serpent, but we could give you an Arc Fire Sphere. Inflict status vulnerability for three turns. Chance of inflicting poison. Uh, it's weird, but okay, I guess. Now, I could also use her to set up more outposts. Which is not the worst idea, but she's also worth 150 points, so... We're probably going to need to do some 2v1s. I only have 16 turns to get to this den, and I need to get through this brigand camp first. It never ends. Have you played any of the earlier Age of Wonders series? I played, I think, Age of Planetfall. Um, but, like, I'm not, I'm not super familiar with the earlier stuff. I've played a lot of Age of Wonders 4, though. A handcrafted contraption with arcane engravings is delivered to you after you accept the contraption revealing none other than Peacebringer Anthony Hopkins. Speaking of frog characters, chat was asking about whether or not there's frogs before. Uh, this is the character that I've made a pacifist run on and one without attacking anybody on brutal difficulty. Your interest in the materium has caught my eye. The power of creation and transmutation runs through me. The elements bend to your will. I ask to join your quest. Can I see Anthony Hopkins? Oh, okay. Yes. I, I mean, why not? Add him to the recruitment pool. I can't have him at the moment. He 
He's a summoner with an intimidating aura. An ascended summoner. I mean, that would work well. So his whole concept... <laughs> his whole concept is basically that he just, like, takes hits and does morale damage. He was very foolish, but he worked quite interestingly. <gasps> we got our next tome. We're going to go with the Tome of Alchemy. I think. Hmm. It's really hard for me to get these elementals leveled up. Melee and physical ranged attacks have a 60% chance of inflicting bleeding. Obsidian weapons. Earthkin, minor race transformation. Mountain terrains. Uh... I guess gargoyles are also magic units. Magic origin units, probably. Versus a ranged unit, tier two ranged unit. With miasma shot. Per adjacent unique province improvement. Oh, that is so specific. Material refinery, mysterious toxins, fumigation, siege project. So we get bonuses to elementals. Is um very specifically one of our one of our things. These guys are fighter elementals. Um, storm spirits would also kind of work which would give us a vokers I just I, I, it seems like we're gone like a deep into materium right now so A ranged unit doesn't really make a lot of sense for me. I, I, it, it's like all of the worst. Like the sand eels are tough and they're magic casters. So a ranged unit doesn't work well. Uh, I would get tonics on my animists. We can weaken characters and afflict them. Basically giving them bleeding. Yeah, you know what? I want to try it. It feels dune wormy. I think I'm just going to skip the afflictors. As weird as that is. Who else but the alchemist? Uh, we should probably cast Enchanted Crow Companion, but we don't have the mana for it yet. These guys can annex more stuff. Uh, Haste Berries would be really nice. Not that we can get them right away, but we could get a free research post. Sweevil! That's a free city. Is there nothing else up here? Eh, 
that would be an interesting place to send a scout. You're going to move up there. Get an astral do down that way. And we're going to take this fight. Because we got to. Came in late on three, but I really enjoyed Planetfall. Yes, yeah. I understand the name. It's a pun. Wait, which which name is a pun? Paul? The dragon named Paul? 635 versus 647. Acts of provocation. Oh, this guy's got some nice stuff. I love his drip. Great looking outfit. Hopkins. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anthony Hopkins. Yeah, yeah. He's maybe my favorite character that we've ever played. Uh, okay. What do you got in here? A spell breaker on a horse. That's my greatest threat because you can star purge. So if I bundle all my units up, especially if I bundle them where I would like to, they'll get deleted. Well, there's a rock here. So why don't we do something like this? You have seduce. What if I sed? Oh my god. What if I seduce the spell breaker? The purring mystics. If I could get them on my side, 60% chance to dominate. Chance to spend mana to keep the unit permanently. So that means I have to have mana to actually be able to cast that after. Out. Provoke, resisted, okay. Uh, I'm going to move up one with you so that you don't get any charge bonuses. And then we'll hit him with the dragon's breath. At least have cavalry slayer there. If I whiff this seduce, I'm in big doo doo. It's a 44% chance to seduce. Sugoi. That is very, very good and spicy. I guess you're going to go for this elephant. Seems like it's going to do us a lot of damage, though. Um, yeah.
Take some more shots. So I could summon the Primal Serpent. It's going to be 30 mana to cast it, though. I have no idea what kind of mana I need to dominate a tier 3 Spellbreaker. Like, not even remotely close. And it's very likely that he might also just get killed, so... I think that's probably my best bet. Oh my god, my copper golems. They are not lasting well. Wow, you also got just dunked on right then. You get stunned? You did get stunned. Kill that elephant with some arrows. Oops. Arrow, blowgun arrows. That heal is not going to do much is the problem. You do 15 damage. You do five damage a shot. This guy's got 10 HP. So I'm gonna move one so that I get the 90% chance. That way I can move these golems out of the fire. Where they can hopefully live for a turn. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm going to move on you. I'm going to move these guys here. I'm going to the turn. Ah, they died anyway. They took eight damage. So annoying. Hum, 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 hum. I'm not going to move you yet because I don't know if I need to use you to like heal something. And the Sunder Defense with the critical hit. All right, I lost a golem. That's not the worst. I captured a Spellbreaker. Two hundred and twenty-five mana. You're able to reopen the screen until your turn ends. Yeah, sorry. It was a lovely idea. <laughs> but... Unfortunately, that's all it was. Uh, I think I'm going to give her Inspiring Leader. Nice capture. How is that a capture, though? I mean, it's the idea that they can, like, always get out of it, I guess. Ancient Governor. When Governor grants the city knowledge, stability, and fortification health. I mean, I like that. Comet. 
I like that a lot. Roar, friendly units in two hexes gain strengthened and hastened. An additional retaliation attack. I think I'm going to take this because it's really good for um, the golems. I now need some summon more of. We'll sell your remains. Give you a hat. Give you a warg. Why not? A Gore Tusk Piglet's coming in. We got a Wizard's Tower finished here, which is excellent. Knowledge for unique improvement. That is a curious one. What do I need for mana? I need more quarries. And I mean, need more farms for an estate hall. All right, well, we'll get that. Uh, I could form this outpost into another city. Is there anything I'd rather spend my stuff on? Mines grant mana would be kind of nice. City structures cost less gold to build would also be kind of nice. If I keep building my cities the way I do, everything could share a border with the throne city eventually, which is really cool. We're just gonna build. God, my draft is so bad. I have 25 draft. It's abysmal. I need to give this game more time. My first time playing, I was slaughtered after like six hours of playing. It is, it can be very tough. Um, honestly, I would play on the skirmish maps instead of the story maps. I found the story maps aren't like super balanced. Um, they kind of have some like unreasonable difficulty spikes in them. But it does get... It does get easier as you play it some more. Really finding combos that like stack together well or just playing on a lower difficulty sometimes makes all the difference. I have enough to take on that brigand camp now. Which is a maybe, a maybe baby. Now that we're like getting some buffs on our guys, it's also making like a huge difference. I just don't know how to keep these guys alive for longer. So they can become bronze. Can't be dominated. That's really nice. Well... Okay. These dudes for sure need to heal. But then if I move them, he let's say here, I could take that brigand camp next turn. Gortusk piglet. Do you become anything better if you level up? Gortusk matriarch. Yeah, okay. I thought so. Ooh, summon progenitor golems. <gasps> oh, well, okay. Wow, we have a new goal. <laughs> it's to get that. It's 
Severing golems. Ooh. Roving furnaces. Some really cool stuff in here. Iron golem assistance. Here a world has been founded. Uh, let us start with a woodcarver's workshop. I think. Now, if I build here, it locks these guys underground. Oh yeah, hold on. Let's let's ask him for. defensive pact yeah it's like that I need a province claiming pact as well dude and I'll I'll share vision with you I just don't want to give you my borders yeah let him live underground with these other filthy little monsters mole looters And we can own the above ground. And they can stay away from us. Like it? It would be op as hell if it was completely free. Completely free tends to make things pretty overpowered. Okay. I gotta get an outpost up there ASAP. You know what? Like, so ASAP that I, I should probably send her like immediately after doing this up in that direction. Us having a lot of cities is very, very powerful. It's a lot of land to defend, but I think it's one of our best options. With that, we're going to end turn. But we're going to do it tomorrow. Uh, what is this? Paul of Dune. Thank you for joining us on the beginning of our Dune run. I don't know if I'll swap what video I'm going to stitch this onto. Uh, or how we're going to do this. So if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you. <laughs> uh, if you're watching it on Twitch, we'll be back tomorrow for business as usual.